Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Ann Deaton, and on this episode of Say It With Food, we're going on the spicy side. The theme of the show is, you're really hot, and we're talking about pickup lines. But just like any good pickup line, you need to get spicy without going too far to the extreme. If you go too far, the whole thing's going to fizzle. Welcome to Habanero Shrimp. Hi, I'm Mary Ann Dayton, and I'm a professor of communication at LaSalle University. One of the things I teach my students is that there are lots of different ways to send messages. One of my favorite ways is to say it with food. In this show, I will combine two of my passions, interpersonal communication and cooking. So join me as I teach you how to send a message in the tastiest way possible, through food. Academic views of pickup lines are a lot like popular views. A pickup line is defined as an opening line of conversation intended to get someone interested in having a casual relationship. Okay, so this little guy, it's a habanero pepper, and it's really strong. And talking about pickup lines, you've got to be really careful that you don't come on too strong. Otherwise, nobody wants to go there. On the other hand, you've got to really be careful with a pickup line. After all, you want to pick somebody up if you're using one. So you've got to make sure that you have enough assertiveness in your flavor. It's got to not be too weak or mushy. So today with our shrimp, we're going to be looking for the just right balance between too strong and spicy enough to make it worth your while. I confess that I actually succumbed to a pickup line only once. I had just begun a job in public relations in West Virginia, and I knew absolutely nobody. On my very first day on the job, I had to make a lot of phone calls. A few days later, one of the people I had called came to my office to check me out. Apparently, he liked my voice. And he said to me, wow, you get prettier every day, and today you look like next week. I laughed, and we ended up going out for two years. So that ended up being pretty successful. In fact, so successful, we dated for two years. You know, a successful dish takes a lot of things, and it's not all just about the ingredients. In this case, just like a good pickup line, the ingredients are pretty simple. It's really the balance that makes it important. You've got to push it a little bit without pushing too far. Okay, so the ingredients are fairly simple. We're going to start with one pound of large shrimp that have been peeled and deveined. And of course, we want to salt and pepper it so that we can make sure that they have lots of flavor. After that, we then have to have one and a half cups of orange juice, one habanero pepper, two or three little strands of fresh thyme, and some fresh ginger root that we're going to grate to make the glaze be sweet and spicy all at the same time. So let's start with the glaze. I'm going to take my saucepan, and to my saucepan I'm going to add the one and a half cups of orange juice. This is a really simple recipe because we're just going to take the thyme and dump it right in. And then here's where we have to be really careful, the habanero. All we're going to do is slice it and dump it. You don't want to cut it apart. It's way too spicy to have any habanero pieces in there. And then finally, we're going to grate some fresh ginger root. Ginger root has a really spicy and sweet flavor itself. And all I'm going to do is peel it. And then use my microplane to grate it directly into the pot. We now take this and bring it up to a boil on the stove. It's going to take quite a long time before we get to a glaze. So this is going to come to a boil, and then we're going to reduce it to simmer. And it's going to take about 30 minutes for it to reduce and become very thick. The glaze has to reduce by half. Now remember that the glaze is really important, because if it doesn't work well, just like a bad pickup line, nothing's going to happen. You've got to have it not too spicy, not too sweet just right. Hey, you look hot tonight. So do you see why that wouldn't work? Really, who wants to hear that? Here's an example of something that's actually worked a little bit better with college students. Hey, I'm Nick. You my Shami class? So I can see the stars in your eyes tonight. So do you see the difference there? Something with a little bit of substance really starts a conversation much better than just saying, you're hot. And the same with the shrimp. We don't want to burn your mouth with something that's going to scald you. We want 
found something a little bit more complex with a little more substance. Once the glaze is done, it's time to turn our attention to the shrimp. You have gotta start with a well-heated saute pan with just a little bit of oil, whatever oil you prefer. And once it gets sizzling hot, it's time to add the shrimp. It won't take long for the shrimp to cook. So we need to start flipping it as soon as we start to see it turn pink. Once the shrimp has been cooked on each side, you want to remove the habanero from your glaze. It's done its job. And also remove the leftover thyme. We kept it cold so it's easy to remove. And then just add that to your shrimp. Let it cook down to absorb some of the flavors. And while we're doing that, we'll make some rice. So we're going to serve this with a bed of rice, which I've already prepared. The easiest way to do it is to just spoon it on, letting people choose how spicy they, they really want to get with it. Add just a little bit of thyme as a garnish and to make it a little bit pretty, just like a good pickup line. Until next time, this is Say It With Food for La